Hola amigos and welcome to episode 11 of La Resurrección and we are back in La Liga. Arguably where this club deserves to be and today we have our first game of the season at home against Levante. So, arguably a winnable game, I think you would agree. In terms of pre-season predictions, so I said that if we finished around where Alaves finished last season, we should be alright. I think they finished around about 13th. And I believe that is exactly where the media predict us to be. So, they think we're going to have a decent season. I believe so as well. The board want a mid-table finish. So, I think 13th will be alright with that. Expected to get to the fifth round of the Copa del Rey. Obviously, that didn't turn out great last season. We are playing Magida Honda in the second round. I did. I, they got relegated last season, didn't they? Yeah, so they're in the third tier. So hopefully we can get past them. In terms of transfers, it's been a bit of a difficult window. Obviously, we didn't get a lot of money. And to bring in La Liga quality players, you've got to pay. And unfortunately, we weren't able to do that. We have made, done a bit of business. So if I just show you these first and foremost. So in terms of players that have gone out, we knew that Alberto and Kishek were leaving anyway on free transfers. The man underneath, Adnan Tigodini. Now, Malaga had a load of players out on loan last season. When a Premier League team gets relegated, normally all their best players leave. Uh, instead of doing that, Malaga loaned them all out, which was quite a good idea, actually, because obviously if they were looking to get straight back, then they could just come back into the team. So this man was out on loan last season. Uh, he was at Esberg in Denmark, and he came, when he came back, despite us being in La Liga, he wanted to leave so I hadn't played him and I was quite happy to let him go so he's gone to AZ Alkmaar for 550 grand he plays on that left wing but we know we've got plenty of cover in that position Alex Robles has gone out on loan I kind of regret in that now but there's I'll tell you that in a bit um yeah he's gone on loan to Zaragoza still young plenty of potential he wasn't probably going to get as much game time as he would have needed so I think the season out on loan will do his development really good. Juan Carr has left to join Valladolid on loan for the season as well. Again, on that left-hand side, we had one player come back from the, all those loan spells who was a left-hand-sided player as well. Uh, Juan Carr would have been some alive fourth-choice left-winger. But again, he was good last season. I didn't want to let go of him straight away. So he has gone out on loan as well. Perhaps surprisingly, Boularud has gone out on loan as well. He's gone to Vallecano. Obviously, they were relegated last season. He did do really well for us, but we have reinforced this mid centre midfield really well. And I just didn't think he was going to get as much game time as he wanted. But, of course, he was really good for us last season, so I didn't want to sell him permanently. So he's gone out on loan as well. Roberto Rosales, this is why I regretted letting uh, Robles go out on loan. So Roberto Rosales was out on loan last season. He was at Espanyol, played a full season for them. He was going to come in and be my first choice right back. But Fiorentina came in with a pretty good bid for this club, four and a half million. Considering he hadn't played for me and we got Hernandez who played well last season, I thought, you know, it's a bit of money that we could do with. We could certainly reinvest it. So Roberto Rosales has gone. He's 30 years old. So, he was in my plans, but obviously he's gone now, so we've had to change that slightly. So, those are the to those are the only outs. In terms of release players, there are only youth players. I did give Kelly Ann a new deal, so he hasn't gone anywhere. But let's focus on the ins. Obviously, so we know about James Morrison, first and foremost, 33 now. But uh, he's going to be my backup number 10. Again, I think just a, a good influence to have in and around the dressing room. I don't know how much game time he'll get, but um, yeah, nice to have a, a British lad in and around the squad as well. The other player you guys know about, Richie Tao, he has come in as well, although he's gone straight into the B team. I didn't realise we would have such reinforcements in terms of the players that have come back on loan. So unfortunately, he's came in, but actually he's... Uh, He's not really going to play for the team, I don't think. So, a bit of a mistake. I probably should have checked. But, nevertheless, he may make an appearance this season. But, I don't expect him to. Another free transfer. Come on, Wilfred Borny. Score some goals from Malaga. No, it doesn't really work, does it? But, yes, Wilfred Borny is in the van. Another free transfer. He dropped his wage demands towards the end of the... Uh, towards the end of the... 
Jan, no, June, that's the one. Uh, he was running out of contract at Swansea. I brought him in. He is a really good player. He's done all right in pre-season, a couple of goals. But I think that's a solid option to bring in up top, especially on a free transfer. And uh, yeah, I'm sure we'll be seeing plenty of Boney this season. So I've only made three loan signings. I haven't been able to sign anyone permanently. The first of these is George, although he is Brazilian, so it might be Jorge. But we're going to go with George anyway. As you can see, three and a half star current ability, four star potential. We were desperate for a left back. Obviously, with Alberto going, Chechu, the man I said wouldn't be around much, I don't think, for the rest of this series. He was my best left back. So we were desperate for reinforcements. This guy has come in on loan for the season from Monaco. Played out on loan at Porto last season. And, yeah, as you can see, he got a really good average rating. And I think he's going to be an exceptional addition to our team. Fits into that wing-back role nicely as well. So, welcome, George. The next man I brought in is Hamza Mendil. Now, he is a left-back as well. Where is he from? I don't recognise that badge. He is from Morocco. Okay, so he'll fit in nicely with Munir then. But, yes, he is another left-back. On loan from Schalke. A little bit cheaper. But again. Three star current ability. He's got four and a half star potential. A solid. Well he might not even be a backup. He, he is initially. He was signed with that mentality. He was going to be a backup to George. But I think he can certainly push him. And it's a, certainly a good rotation option to have. Only 21 years old as well. So he could potentially grow into something special. Perhaps our marquee signing of the window, Maximilian Eggestein. We've signed him on loan from Real Madrid for the season. As you can see, four and a half star current ability. He's only 22 as well. Central midfield. I'm surprised that Madrid are willing to loan him out. Bought him for a big fee last season. He played, did play a decent amount of games and he played well in those games. But obviously they didn't think he was going to play much this season. So I saw him on the loan list and I thought there would be a quality addition to have. And uh, yeah, box-to-box -box midfielder is his favoured uh, role. Obviously, we don't play that role. We have kept the 4-2-3-1 as the tactic for this season. But yeah, Max Eggestein, I think, is going to be a really important player for us. As you can see there as well, we are in the midst of sending Kaidi Barre out on loan. I was going to keep him. I was going to play him in a uh, in a more deeper role this year, but as obviously with the addition of Eggestein, Barre only two and a half star. Again, someone who's got potential is in twenty one, so I am going to loan him out rather than sell him. He is in talks with Amiens from France to go out there on loan, so hopefully he will do that and play well for them. So in terms of business, that is it really. Obviously, you can see the six players have come in there. A lot of young players have gone out on loan. Uh, obviously, the ones that we've talked about as well. And I believe we did do some other business. Am I right? Ah, okay. That was it because he was in the B team. Javi Ontiveros. He's someone that had a lot of potential. Was out on loan last season. Come back in. Wasn't really going to push for a, a, a first team spot. And then Roma came in and offered two and a half million for him. And I just thought... Well, he might grow into something special, but I'm really not going to utilise him. So, I think it's only fair I let him go. Obviously, Roma have put him out on the loan list straight away. But, uh, yeah, another young player has gone. Miguel Torres as well. Someone who's sat in a B team, 33. He's gone to Greece or Cyprus, I want to say. Asteris, Tripolis. Greece, yeah. So, he's moved on. He never featured for me. But uh, yeah, that is it in terms of transfer business. So, this team against Levante. Oh, just quickly, if I show you. So, we got almost 3 million, a decent amount of wages. I am going to look into bringing another right back, just as cover for Hernandez. Like I said, I wish I hadn't really got rid of Robles now. But anyway, this is today's team. Some faces you'll know, some faces you won't know. The players that you won't know, you will may meet later on. But uh, a, a lot of those players who come back in from their loan spells have made their way into the first team. And they are really good players. So I'll introduce you as and when. So Munir is going to be the number one again this season. Raul Rodriguez is going to have to start right back as we saw. Oh, well, you didn't see. And Anders is suspended for the first game of the season. I think it's just a, a one game ban if we have a look. 
yeah, just one match. So he'll be in and around the team next game. But yeah, unfortunately he's out and obviously no Robles. So we've had to play Raul Rodriguez at right back. Lomban and Flavio Ramos, the ever-present two from last season. They are going to be in the centre-back. George is going to start for me on the left wing left back position, I was going to say left wing then, Emma, I believe Emmanuel Cicchini, yeah I got that right, he was out on loan last season, young player, 22, Argentinian, really good, you know, report on this guy, three and a half star cone ability, four star potential, he is very young, he was on loan at Banfield in Argentina last season, hasn't played that much for Malaga since he's been here, but yeah, I'm going to utilise him certainly, he is going to play the more defensive of the two today, alongside Max Eggerstein, of course. On the right, we have Kiko, another player who was out on loan last season. 27, three and a half star ability. And, uh, yeah, he was on loan at Real Valladolid. Played a full season for them. And, yeah, he's been a really good addition. We have kept Cabo in the team, so that means that Renato Santos might not really feature, which is quite sad, because he was really good for us at the start of the last season. But, unfortunately, he picked up that long injury. And Cabo took that chance and never looked back. Juan P is going to play number 10. Alex Muller is going to be on the left. And Michael Santos, again, another player who was out on loan last season. He was on loan at Leganes last season. So they were in, obviously, La Liga as well. He's got a few goals. But again, someone that we can utilise. Three-star, three star, current ability, three-and-a-half-star potential. So Boney on the bench today. Uh, and yeah, there's a few other players that are like that in terms of been out on loan, but we will meet them as and when. So I'm quite confident, really, that our first game is at home. It's on the Friday night, so we open the season. We are against Levante, so I think it's a winnable game. I don't know how Levante did last season. Levante finished 12th, so it's not going to be an easy game, but obviously the momentum of coming up and the fact that we're at home, I think this is definitely a winnable game. Right, we're moving to the game, and I noticed straight away that they've signed Shane Long. Yeah, they have signed him properly, 4.7 million. Didn't have a great season at Southampton last time out. What an addition that is, playing 4-4-2. A few reinforcements in defence, Paolo Oliveira I know about, he's a good player. Ignacio Mikel, formerly of Arsenal, I do believe, and Ruben Duarte from Espanyol. He is a good player as well, so they've made some good additions, but hopefully... We will get the better of them. Yeah. I say don't rule anything out in terms of the transfer window. We are looking to bring players in. If you're unfamiliar, the Spanish transfer window doesn't quite work like the English one. Whereas that shuts before the first game of the season. The Spanish one runs up all the way to the end of August. So we have got about a week before the transfer window shuts. I would like to bring in some cover at right back. And anything we may, anything else we may be able to do as well. You may have noticed as well, I know I don't talk about it a lot. My assistant manager changed over the summer. Some people sort of like to know about the staff. Obviously, I did that thing at the start of last season where I showed you all the English influx of coaches. Uh, I don't think my assistant manager's stats were quite good enough for La Liga, so I've binned him off and I'm promoting my under-19s manager, Pepino. Great name. He is now my new assistant manager. As we have the new, as we have the new, as we have the first highlight of the game, and it goes our way. Alex Muller's gone a long way. He finds Kiko. Cuts inside. Oh, and he hits the post. So according to the stats, it hasn't been a brilliant start from us. But we have hit the post. Kiko with the corner in. Mikel knocks it away. And Cicchino wins the free kick. I thought he'd given it away. Potentially a highlight. Juan P is going to take the free kick. Knocks one in. And it's wide. Didn't look like troubling the keeper. And that, my friends, is half time. That was the only highlight of the first half. Pretty even. We've had slightly more possession. But... That doesn't really account for a lot. Say the fans want it, so hopefully that's motivated them. One thing I was going to say as well, I had a look at the fixture list because you know in England you get like Arsenal, Chelsea, United, Spurs all in a row or whatever. It doesn't seem to work quite like that in Spain. The big games seem to be spaced out a little bit, which is quite good. As Juan P is going to knock in the corner, Santos is there, but the keeper claims. But yeah, so the big games are all spaced out, and I know. In England, it seems tougher because you've got like a top five or a top six who are always sort of nailed on to finish in the Champions League spots. Whereas in Spain, you've only really got Barca, Madrid, Atleti. There's not as many big teams. So those three are always pretty much guaranteed to finish in the top three spots as we work forward to Kiko and he nails one. 
that's an unusual term description adjective adjective that's the word uh, that's an unusual adjective and no highlights which is my fault um yeah either way he's put us one nil up whether he's nailed it or scored and we go one nil up a great goal from the uh, from the returning man uh, and as i was saying yeah, Atleti, Barca, Real Madrid, they're also almost certainly nailed on for the top three spots. It's obviously just a case of where they finish. But then, for the other Champions League spot, it's just whoever fancies turning up that season. Obviously, you've got your bigger teams like it was Sevilla, Valencia, Bilbao, Sociedad maybe, that are going to be in and around the European spot. So as we saw, Getafe finished fifth last season. They're predicted to finish below us this year, so... If you feel like turning up, you may well get your reward for it. As time is whittling down in this second half, 20 minutes to go. We are looking comfortable, so I'm not going to make any changes as of yet. And it could be another highlight our way. Ramos up to Muller, back to George. He's got options in the middle. Eggestein to Cecchini. Eggestein once again. Juan P. Santos, could he find a ball into Kiko? He cuts inside Kiko and he's done the exact same. Leathered one in the bottom corner. His second goal. Our second goal as well. Really nice retention of possession there. Just patiently trying to find a route forward. Juan P with a lot of space to walk into. Santos lays one off to Kiko. He cuts inside and leathers one in the top corner. What a goal. And what a, what an inspiration that man has been. Not much else has happened and we are over the allotted amount of time and there it is, the final whistle. We win our first game of the season. We really turned it on the second half. And the I was going to say the Kiko then. Kiko has stolen the show just as Juan P did in that game last season where he single-handedly won us that game. But there it is then, our first win of the season. We are off to a flyer. Villarreal up next. I just noticed up there, so that is going to be a tough game. I completely forgot about them, to be honest. If we have a look at the league, yeah, we're top of La Liga. Come on, Atletico Madrid. Kick off at ten o'clock. What's going on? Why would you want to be playing till almost midnight? What is that about? Anyway, sorry, just going on a little rant there. So we are obviously top of La Liga because we are so good. Don't worry, that it's not the only game that's been played so far this season. In terms of when we will be back, um, should we go do something around maybe Sevilla? If we do Sevilla, maybe maybe Tenerife because they come up with us last year. Maybe Valladolid, I don't know. But Sevilla will be a good test. Anyway, that is going to bring today's episode to an end, guys. But I hope you have enjoyed it. What a start we've made to the league season. If you have enjoyed it, pop a like on there for me. Subscribe to the channel for more. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.